The delusion of parents is grandeur. Listen, I'm just going to be very frank, America. I don't give a fuck about parents' emotions or how you respond. Single mom, single daddy, married, rich, wealthy, poor. I'm going to move in logic. Oh, the seven-footer. Maybe he don't love basketball. Maybe he don't do this. Well, listen, you, you got to do the things you need to do so you can do the things you want to do. Let's take it back. How many of y'all liked Algebra 2, Geometry, Calculus? No, nah, but you had to do it to go to college, right? How many of y'all liked foreign languages, instruments, home ec, science, biology, chemistry? I didn't like none of that, but I had to do it to go to college. If you seven feet tall, you got to play basketball to go to college. You got to do the things you need. You got to volunteer over 100 hours at these private schools. You got to turn in your financial statements. You got to go to freshman orientation. Oh, but you do that to get into the school. You see how warped y'all are? You see how delusional y'all damn parents are? You're willing to do anything to be accepted into a group instead of doing the things that will protect and advance your last name. Y'all don't get it, though, because you're stupid. Y'all parents are stupid, chasing a social club, chasing a social group. Instead of saying, you know what? Here's the plan. I got a seven-foot son, seven-foot daughter, six-foot-six daughter. This will get her into college. The same way you do that summer internship for free in high school, four hours a day, 20 hours a week. Imagine if a seven-footer was an intern on a basketball court. You got to do what you need to do. This world is about economics. America is based off of capitalism. <laughs> Parents, you're stupid. If you don't use the attributes that God gave you to get where you need to be to, to, so you can do what you want to do, you're a fool. Period. Point blank. I don't give a damn what you think or how you feel. If you want to be a doctor, you got to take calculus. You got to take uh, anatomy. So that means you're probably not great at history because you got to spend all that time in the science lab. That means you're probably not great at writing papers. So you don't like English. You don't like Shakespeare. You got to move in logic. For all you basketball parents not moving in logic, you're stupid. You're a fool. And I'm telling you, this is just the reality of it. I don't give a damn how you feel about me because I move in logic. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Coaches, stay coaching. These parents are delusional. They're going to tell you their son is the greatest without putting in work. Oh, he's on a basketball team and don't want to play. He's just there for the hell of it. He's just there for the community service hours so he looks good so he can apply to Stanford, Harvard, Princeton. Yeah. But you're dumb at, but the, you know what the dumbass parents do? Oh, we don't want to play basketball, but they fly all the way across America to watch their kid play two or three games on the weekend. Is that efficient? When you can watch it for free or for a little paid subscription, $6.99 on, 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 on an app. But, 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 but you know what? I need to come up with a, I need to come up with like, instead of calling it AAU basketball, it needs to be called Delusional Parents Anonymous. Parents are going to pay $5,000 to be a part of an AAU team where no college coaches are going to be in the gym and the team practice once a week. And if they travel on the weekend, they don't practice. So you're paying $5,000 to be a part of a social group. Oh, this is the most elite AAU team in my city. So I'm going to pay my $1,000. No, what you need to do is pay that trainer $5,000. Yeah, make that a full-time job. Make that an internship. You're not going to get me on those social groups or I got to be a part of this team. I got y'all better start falling in love with Richard Williams, LeVar Ball, uh, the McCaffrey family, uh, the Clay Matthews family. Y'all need to figure them out because you're lying to yourself when you say, oh, I don't want my child to be great at basketball. You're lying. You're lying to yourself. I like when Lincoln scores. And the crowd goes, wow, oohs and ah. I like the endorphins he gets from that. I like the self-esteem building that he gets when he does something great on the basketball court. 
I like that as a parent. Because you guess what? These tough times on the basketball court will translate into real life scenarios. Composure. Emotional competitiveness. Discipline. Accountability. I'm not delusional. You are. Now, y'all go have fun paying that $5,000. What is it? This week? Next week? Next, the next three weeks, all y'all parents going to be paying $5,000 to be part of a group when you should be at this local gym training for two hours a day, two sessions. That's four hours a day. But you ain't going to do it. You don't even require your child to drink a, a gallon of water every day. You, your child should be drinking a gallon of water every day. But who am I? I'm crazy. I'm delusional. If my child is seven feet tall, he's playing basketball. We get into college. I'm saving that $500,000. I'm going to go buy him a building. That $500,000, that's a down payment on like a six to eight unit building here in Los Angeles. And guess what? As soon as he graduates, he gets the keys. He got, he's making $20,000 a month, 10 to $20,000 a month. And he's going to live off the, and he can re, and he can build his dynasty off of the, the equity. Or I'm going to get a brokerage account and put the money in Apple, put a portion of Apple, put a portion in Amazon, Tesla. And the list goes on and on. Y'all can go to, y'all do your research on stocks. Zoom. Your parents are delusional, man. I move in logic. I just listen to emotional parents, illogical parents talk. I don't follow them. If your child is seven feet tall, he got to do what he need to do to get to college. And if your child is seven feet tall sitting on the bench in any on any team, you're doing your child a disservice. Period. Point blank. If you disagree with me, prove, prove me with data, not your emotions. Peace.